Debbie. Hello, are you all right? Yeah, I think so. I'm just a bit shaken, that's all. Has anyone been inside of the house when it blew up? Yes. My daughter Debbie was in her room sleeping, and I don't know what happened to her. Debbie, where are you? Please come to Daddy. It's okay, Mr. Fenderson. We'll try to search for- Wait, who is that over there? There's a baby girl over there. I think that's her. Debbie, thank goodness. I thought you were in there. I'm so relieved you're all right. At least it was only fortunate the baby girl wasn't killed in the blast, but we still have to find out what happened. Finally, Anthony, I thought you would never- Linda, we have to talk. The science center where I've been working at just got blown up. What? How did that happen? Did the brewing stand overheat? No, worse, somebody placed a bomb in the building and detonated it, and the whole place even caught on fire because of it. Get out. Get out of the building right now. I'll be right there. Anthony. Anthony, where are you? Over here. Are you okay? I'm fine. I managed to get out of the building through the fire exit. At least I'm relieved that you weren't- Oh my god. What happened here? We're currently investigating a house where it blew up. We don't know what caused it, but it is certain that it was a bomb. Are you all right, guy? Yes, I'm fine. I'm only shaken, but I'll live. But is Debbie all right? Yes, she's okay. I thought she was in my house when it exploded, but she wasn't. Where are the firefighters? Anthony, calm down. The firefighters will arrive shortly. Yes? Linda, it's Tonya. My house just got blown up because I witnessed James planting the bomb, but when I tried to talk him out of detonating the bomb, he did it anyway and I managed to escape with minor injuries. Oh god, no, 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 no. This can't be happening. Alright, I'll be there. Who was that? It was Tanya. I have to go. But you can't leave. Look, I don't know what's going on. Tanya said her house got blown up when James detonated the bomb, and I have to go and deal with this. Hello Tom. How's everything going? Just fine. I have just received a phone call from the head of the Minecraftian Ministry of Health regarding Owen. And? What did he say? He said that the Ministry of Health has fired Owen from the Heart Center Hospital, and his belongings were removed. I'm... Wow. I just don't know what to say. Mia, it's okay. Owen does not work in this hospital anymore. You should be relieved he's been sacked. Wait, what? Is this true? Is Owen actually fired? Yes, Vincent, it's true. Owen has been fired and at least we don't have to worry about him. But what happens if Owen comes back? He won't. I'll make sure Owen won't step foot in this hospital, but if he does, you'll be charged with trespassing. I am due to declare that I am the new CEO of the hospital, but we still don't know who the new deputy CEO will be yet. Finally, Heather, where have you been? You're late. Guys, we have to talk. It's very serious. Oh great. What happened again? Did you get confronted by an intruder? It's not about that. It's something else. Guy's house just got blown up. What? Oh my god. How did that happen? Did a gas leak cause the explosion? No, it's much worse. I just spoke to the police and they said that James Kemp and Wayne Cantu blew up not just Guy's house, but also the science center, Tanya's house, and many other- Wait a second. James escaped from prison? How come I haven't been told about this before? That's impossible. James was supposed to be locked up behind bars. How can anyone manage to make him go scot-free? 
I don't know, and I'm concerned that James is plotting to get revenge on the entire town for some reason. If he tries to do something very vicious, we're really doomed. Heather, calm down. No matter what James is plotting, we'll make sure to send him back to prison. You better. I don't want to see James trying to take over the- Oh my god. Heather, what is it? It's James. He just sent a text message to me and threatens that if Castle Bush doesn't surrender to him, he'll kill everyone, including some of us. What? Oh god, no, 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 no. Now this is getting even worse. Alright, you know what, guys? James is going way too far. So I'm going to find him and kill Jake. No, if James finds out what you're trying to do to him, we're all dead. Will everybody please just calm down? James may be evil. But my colleagues and I still have the chance to stop him. If we don't act fast, it's too late. Wow, isn't this great that we can get to watch the Brave Warriors? Yeah! Too bad we didn't get any popcorn, but we do have some clownfish as snacks though. Totally! Dennis told me that Pixie used to watch the Brave Warriors all the time, and she loved it so much. She must be a huge fan of that show. She may be dead, but we'll never forget her. Exactly. Are you sure you want to go to that dungeon? It's a dangerous strip. Don't worry dear. No matter what happens to me, I'll- Hey! What happened? Why did the cartoon stop? I guess the TV turned off automatically. It must be in one of those days. Hello children, I'm sorry to interrupt your favorite cartoons, but I'm only here to deliver a warning to those who mess with me. Who the heck is that Calvin Shush? Last night, I have a friend of mine who helped me escape from prison while the guards weren't knowing. We then placed bombs in many places, including two houses, a science center, and a pub. Oh my goodness! That is so horrible! Who would do something like this? Whoever detonated these bombs should better be arrested for it. In addition, we are also plotting to kill Bubblegum, whom we've always wanted to capture for so long. This woman is a traitor, and we are gonna kill her for all the bullcrap she gave to us, and anyone who tries to stop us from killing her will be cursed. I'm warning Castle Bush that if the town doesn't surrender to me and obey me, this town will be gone forever, and I'm going to find you, kidnap you, and then kill you. I hope you understood what I said, so you still have the chance to surrender if you still could. Goodbye. I mean, wow. The wedding party sure was great. You could have at least seen Geraint and Sally heading for their honeymoon. Guy, what's the matter? Is there something wrong? Logan, listen. I'm not really in the mood for a friendly conversation right now. My house got blown up. What? Your house got blown up? When did that happen? Last night. I was about to go home when it suddenly blew up, and I'm certain that it was a bomb because I saw it standing there just moments before the detonation. So who could have possibly planted that bomb? I don't know. It was probably James Camp who, according to the police, has escaped from prison, and I'm scared about what he's going to do next. Guy, calm down. The police are working to stop James and send him back to prison. We'll hope he won't commit another crime, or worse. Alright, you know what? I have to go. I need to talk to Heather. Guy, wait. Come back. You forgot to serve me the food. Come on, Heather. Answer the phone. Please. Heather, is that you? Pick up the phone. Just please pick it up. Heather, no.